Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. A 27-year-old social worker, Ms. Connor voted for Hillary Clinton in the 2016 primaries, spurning the more liberal Bernie Sanders, who many of her peers backed. But Ms. Connor changed course in this year's campaign for governor, after concluding that Democrats could only win with more daring messages on issues like public health and immigration. And so on a recent Wednesday, she enlisted two other young women to volunteer for Abdul El Said, a 33-year-old advocate of single-payer health care running an uphill race in Michigan to become the country's first Muslim governor. They need to wake up and pay attention to what people actually want, Ms. Connor said of Democratic leaders. There are so many progressive policies that have widespread support that mainstream Democrats are not picking up on, or putting that stuff down and saying, that wouldn't really work. Voters like Ms. Connor may not represent a controlling faction in the Democratic Party, at least not yet. But they are increasingly rattling primary elections around the country, and they promise to grow as a disruptive force in national elections as younger voters reject the traditional boundary lines of Democratic politics. Energized to take on President Trump, these voters are also seeking to remake their own party as a ferocious and ferociously liberal opposition force. And many appear as focused on forcing progressive policies into the midterm debate as they are on defeating Republicans. The impact of these activists in the 2018 election has been limited but revealing, only about a sixth of Democratic congressional nominees so far have a formal affiliation with one of several important insurgent groups. 53 of the 305 candidates have been endorsed by the Justice Democrats, the Working Families Party, the Progressive Change Campaign and Our Revolution, organizations that have helped propel challenges to Democratic incumbents. But the voters who make up the ascending coalition on the left have had an outsized effect on the national political conversation, driving the Democrats' internal policy debates and putting pressure on party leaders unseen in previous campaigns. Mark Brewer, a former longtime chairman of the Michigan Democratic Party, said progressive energy was rippling across the state. But Mr. Brewer, who backs Gretchen Whitmer, a former state Senate leader and the Democratic frontrunner for governor, said Michigan Democrats were an ideologically diverse bunch and the party could not expect to win simply by running far to the left.